And so the verdict is in. Are these shoes worth it? to say anything to me about the Greats brand, I would automatically think about the premium tennis shoes that they make. Yes, they make slippers as well. Sometimes you're oblivious to some of these shoe companies when you think about luxury tennis shoes and whatnot. You don't think so much as them making other types of shoes. But in this case, I dug a little deeper, I looked on social media, and I kept seeing these Foster slippers in which we're going to review today that greats make. So as I mentioned, I was on social media, and I kept seeing these shoes right here. Now, I'm the type of guy, I like to slip on something and run the heck out of the house because I don't have time to even slip on a pair of tennis shoes, much less tie them. I just want to stick my foot in something and get out of the door. It literally took me months before I actually ordered this shoe. Okay, first off, it's a great shoe. All right, second of all, it's a slipper. Third of all, what do they know about slippers in the first place? All right, so I was kind of sketchy and on the fence about that, okay? So let's take a really close look at the shoe really quick like and see what it looks like close up. Now, I took the liberty of wearing these shoes for at least two months before I even decided to do, to do this review because I wanted to see what the shoe actually would do as far as wearing it outside, wearing it inside, and, and wearing it on a consistent basis. Because I'm telling you, it's very convenient when you have a shoe like this that's kind of a shoe and a slipper, something you can wear inside and outside because you can see the ridges right here. You see those ridges? You see the dirt and whatnot on it because I have been wearing them like that everywhere I went, you know? You want to go to a pub or something like that, have a drink, have a burger or something like that. Nothing formal, of course. But anyways, the shoe is stylish at the same time. You know what I mean? It doesn't look like a house, house slipper, all right? So you want to look at the shoe very close, very close, people. Yes, it's got the greats branding on it right here, of course, and right here on the tab. This is so soft. And in the wintertime, I'm telling you, wearing the shoe in the wintertime, it actually keeps your foot really, really warm, all right? Of course, you're going to wear a sock when it's the wintertime, all right, to keep your whole foot enclosed. But having your foot in here, it's very warm. But as you can see, the shoe is stylish. It's the greats. Get focused here. And just look at the shoe really quick, like. Very, very cushiony, too. I'm telling you, it's so comfortable right here. It's cushiony and consistent. And it doesn't seem like it's going to give and be very, you know, very flat looking. I, I'm, it's been keeping its shape the whole time. It's nothing slouchy about this padding in the shoe, okay? All right, so we know what's next. Let's go to the shoe board, okay? All right, guys, as I am on the shoe board, let's get into the description of the shoe. First off, let me tell you, you must get this shoe a size bigger than what you actually wear in your normal shoes, or your heel is going to be right at the back of the shoe, as you see my heel is. I wasn't too happy about that, but I wasn't going to send them back. I can live with that. Okay, the nylon upper is made from a recycled fishing nets and carpet, whatever that means. But I love that puffer inspired design on this particular shoe. Okay, it's 100% natural rubber outsold, so outsold that's durable enough for indoor and outdoor wear. And I gotta tell you, um, it, it is that because that, that sole like catches, like if I'm making a turn or something like that. It's, it's, it's funny, it's like well, almost like a tennis shoe at times, all right? It's lined with mesh made from recycled plastic bottles. And also, the sizes run from 4 to 14. Um, what I have on right now is cargo. Um, they have the other colors, which is Nero, Camel. And the Camel is limited, that is. And know that the shoe runs at 99 dollars 
Notice that I took the liberty of showing you what it looks like barefooted, what it looks like with a mid-high sock, and what it looks like with a long sock, all right? Just to give you different looks of how to wear the shoe. Now guys, listen, like I said, this is a pretty decent shoe. You lay back and relax in your house, maybe reading a book and whatnot. It's just a really nice shoe. I really made up my mind to go ahead and try it, and I gotta say I'm pretty satisfied. So anytime that you're in the house relaxing, or if you wanna get hop in the car, go to the store, go to the pub, have a hamburger, or whatever pleases you, go right ahead, get these shoes. I promise you will enjoy. So the verdict is in. Are these shoes worth it? I'm going to say yes they are. If you're going to spend this type of money for just a slipper, I'm going to say it's all in, all in about what you want, what you like, and if you're going to spend this type of money again, yes, it's worth it. I like the shoe especially because it doesn't make me feel like I'm inside of the house when I'm out and about. And it makes me feel like I'm in the house when I'm wearing them as well. On a quick side note, these shoes are gender neutral. So gals, they're made for you as well. And remember, if you would like to make payments on, their, on these shoes, if you're qualified, you can pay for them through Afterpay, which charges you four separate payments and installments until the shoe is paid off. Okay guys, as always, I am Keith Jason White, your host. This is Top Mail, where men talk about man things. So until next time, I will see you at the top.